fake. That's why we don't speak. Made men ain't supposed to make statements. Jay-Z and DeHaven are two individuals who have a personal history together. DeHaven is a childhood friend of Jay-Z, real name Sean Carter, and they grew up together in the Marcy Projects, a housing project in Brooklyn, New York. DeHaven and Jay-Z were involved in illegal activities in their youth, including drug dealing. They were part of a crew called the Trey Ballas, which was known for their involvement in the drug trade. Jay-Z has spoken openly about his past involvement in the drug game and the impact it had on his life. If you want a rapper, you'd be a uh, drug dealer. You, you still think you'd be a drug dealer? That shit was fun. Was it? Yeah. It's a trembling rush. Ask anybody who really, anybody who's ever been really in the middle of the game. It's a trembling rush that it's addictive. That's why people, it's, it's, it's a very dangerous field. <laughs> Yeah. Job occupation, but the rush that you get, like, because it's final. However, their friendship took a turn when Jay-Z started pursuing a career in music. As Jay-Z began to gain success as a rapper, he distanced himself from his former life and associates. This created a rift between him and DeHaven, as DeHaven felt abandoned by Jay-Z when he needed him the most. The last conversation we had, we shook hands. You know, I was in... I was, I was in a little bit uh, a situation with this federal trial. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And the last conversation we had, he looked me dead in my face, you know what I'm saying? And told me, yo, you know, don't even worry about it, I got you. You know what I'm saying? You need some help, I got you. I ain't seen him yet. DeHaven has publicly expressed his feelings of betrayal and resentment towards Jay-Z. He has accused Jay-Z of abandoning their friendship and using his experiences in the drug trade for his own gain in his music career. Everything is exposed now, exposed, exposed. And this is what brought me to this, this live, actually. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's called it, it, confession, because people are exposing, exposing people to, it for clout. And then, and, and then you start to ask yourself, what is this shit about? Years ago, I did that YouTube that y'all seen post, and, and, and I just wanted to take y'all through what my state of mind was and what was going on and what, what, how, how much pressure it was for me to do that YouTube. That's why the city fell off, because it got niggas like him in the game that did all this bullshit and corrupted the game and had to bring it to this. Now, I'm on camera, and I ain't even, I, I ain't even that type of nigga to be on camera doing this type of shit. Niggas that know me know who the fuck I am and how I get bread. But it's a different time now, and this is what they changed this shit into, man. For real, I ain't feeling the love from none of you motherfuckers that, 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 that y'all, oh, none of y'all niggas would've got no money. This shit was all me. All that shit revolved around me, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it wouldn't be no Rockefeller empire if it wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm about to expose all y'all bitch ass niggas. Which went crazy viral and everything, so. No, we gonna talk about that and you know. So I'm gonna take you through this story, right? About how this YouTube got made and why. And what was my breaking point in my, and uh, pressure, pressure bust pipes and, and, and why I did this. Um, it started out now, walk with me through this, right? It started out, right? Right before I came home from prison, 05, 06, I came home from prison. It was an article, before I came home from prison, it was an article in a double XL with Jay in it. 25 year history, some shit, right? Was, and they spoke about, they asked him about me in that article or something. And uh, they asked him about me and they asked him about Klein, Calvin Klein. And he said, he said something about Calvin Klein. What he said with Calvin Klein was like, you know, I, I don't really know Klein like that. Um, I only, I met Klein through a friend of a friend. You know, that friend wished to be turned out to be me. Um, that's what he was talking about, but that's here and there. But when they asked him about me, Jay said something to a fact of like, you know, led me to believe like, okay, cool, man. Whatever we had prior to this, that that shit might be dead and shit that we got some, 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 you know, that we could patch this shit up. That, that's how I took on that interview and I read in the magazine. So, so I was saying to myself before I came home, like, yo, this is what I'm gonna do, man. This is, this is my plan. You know what I'm saying? Go get it with him. We sit down, we work out our differences on what happened and you know what I'm saying? And, um, 
we get back to get back to order and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm on some new shit. You know what I mean? I want to be part of the team and shit. You know what I mean? All this shit got to stop, man. So when I get out, here we out. When I get out, I be out for a few ways. I stayed out for a few days. Yeah, for a few days. Then a few days turned into weeks, right? You get out. One thing about this and around the way in the prison and in the streets and shit, when a nigga come home, niggas will reach out. Those who fuck with you reach out to you and say, yo, welcome home. Woo, 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 woo. Ah! What's up, my nigga? Oh! 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 You know, I ain't get no calls from the homie, right? So I'm like, damn, so. Okay, well, I know he know I'm out, though. I know he know I'm on these streets and shit, so. I gave it enough ample time before I make a phone call and reach out to him and shit and him know to, to no avail, you know what I'm saying? But I was able to get a hold of one of the family members and they sent one of them to come out and talk to me, All right? So when I meet up with Annie, which is his sister, which I thought was my sister. You get what I'm saying? Hear me out when I said it. When I thought, you know, this is my sister too. So, I mean, I'm thinking the conversation is going, go, you know, I'm gonna get, talk to Jay, whatever, woo woo. That conversation went way wrong. That conversation went all the way left. You understand what I'm saying? And when I got up from that conversation with Annie and left, I felt, I really felt like, I felt like a stranger, like somebody she just met type of shit. And, and it, it fucked me up. And I'm gonna get to why it fucked me up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And all of this gonna come back. And fucked me up, you know what I'm saying? I never got to talk to Jay. She gave me the, you know, everything I expected, way left. Yo, get your brother on the phone, woo woo woo, ah ah. Nah. So, I would say when it starts, when I say the pressure bus pipes, that's when the pot gets on the stove. <laughs> you feel me? The pot gets on the stove from there, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, cool. Um,. So I leave and I go back down south. I go back down, you know, south and shit. And from there, shit just started going downhill for me. You know, it was, everything was fucked up for me. And this is not by Jay and them. A lot of shit that was going on from there after that had nothing to do, that was going on with me had nothing to do with Jay and his family at all. Nothing to do with Jay. You know, shit was just fucked up for me. Um, whether it was uh, bad choices, bad luck, you know, or just my storm. You feel me? And this went on. This might have went on for another year. Right? You know what I'm saying? Another year. But during that process of a year, right? Jay... And Rockefeller is just fucking. <laughs> I mean, you you already know. You know what I'm saying? We talking about uh, nine, oh, 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 nine and ten. I mean, 2010, 11, going like like that. I mean, shit, they on fire. Um. So while that's happening, my life is dump. It's just fucked up. You know, my life is fucked up. This has nothing to do with Jay. And but the fact of the matter, like, because they were so visual, because they were so visual, you know what I'm saying? It was building up. The water in the pot was building up. The water in the pot was building up. Pouring water in this pot in the stove. On. And you know what I'm saying? So as my life started taking a downhaul, downhaul, shit just stopped, and they just start blowing and, you know, 
And I started to start to think about this shit. Started to think about this shit as a whole. Like, this shit is bigger than just, um, how you say, this is bigger than just betrayal. Like, this shit is starting to look like it's a conspiracy type of shit going on. That, you know, I don't don't understand what's going on and and my life is f***ed up. So, and this is where my homie come in. This is where I'm going to tell you a story with H. Howe, you know. And at this time, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just say this. At this time now, at the peak of this shit, um, I got some niggas with me on the run that I try to hold down. I couldn't hold down. Shit was havoc. Shit. But one, but H, my man was telling me like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you this, man. You got to do a YouTube. Fuck this. You got to do a YouTube, man. Nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear you. You know what I'm saying? You need to say what's going on, bro. Uh, and I just was like, man, fuck YouTube, man. Let's try to make it. At this time, I was trying to actually make the H and them do an album while they was on a run. <laughs> you feel me? Like some some movie shit. You know what I'm saying? So this shit got so bad, man. Um, he finally pushed me to do it, yo. I did the YouTube, boom. And I did the YouTube, and I and I said all that shit. My name is Dehaven, aka Headache Gill from Marcy, BK, Brooklyn. What up? I'm here to expose this nigga Jay for who he really is and what type of nigga he is. But at the same time, I'm gonna let y'all know who responsible, how I'm responsible for that whole Rockefeller, Rockefeller empire. I'm gonna let y'all know about most of the shit he talking about on the record and who he talking about on record and all that other shit. You know, all them subliminal messages and shit like that. I'm gonna let you know how foul, how Dame is. I'm gonna let you know how all, I'm gonna let you know the whole breakdown on that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you know how his family, you know what I'm saying? How they totally, dis, how they, how disrespectful their family is. You know what I'm saying? How down from the mother on down and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna let y'all know how bad they f- the game up and how blind they got y'all and shit, talking all this shit, how real they is and what they doing for niggas. I'm gonna let y'all know how they got niggas fucked up in jail and how niggas is around the way walking. All the niggas, most of the niggas that pioneered that game. I'm let you know who was getting that bread. I'ma let you know the relationship about how me, how me and Dame, how me, me, how me and D- Dame. Matter of fact, man, I got you coming, man. You know what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'ma let you know so much shit. You know what I'm saying? I'ma just air it out on y'all. You know what I mean? I mean, when you get a chance, go look at it. I said, spoke about Dame. I spoke about Ty Emery. And I spoke about Jay and his whole family and shit. I said some, I said some, uh, some ill shit. You know? I said some real ill shit, right? You know, um, and a lot of people always ask me, but I take that back and, you know, whatever, you know, um, and I always think about it and, I, and I'd be like, you know, I, I would change some of the wording. It would still be the same, but the words would just be changed. You know what I'm saying? But speaking out of anger, that's just how shit going to come out. So when I did it, I got no money from it. That shit went super viral. You know what I'm saying? Um, the person that that you know that knew all the technical shit, he the one made all the money and shit, and you know and and shit like that. So, because I wasn't thinking that you could get paid at that time off of YouTube, I was only thinking about the DVD sales. So, long story short, with that, that shit didn't work. I mean. It worked as far as the world getting to see a face and somebody spazzing on Jay. You get what I'm saying? It, it worked in, in on that aspect that the world got to see, like, oh, who, the, who the fuck is this? Who the, who the hell is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, Who's this guy? He's wilding. He's talking about this nigga. Uh. So after that, bro, that was the only benefit from that. Because after that, that my life just got darker and darker and and um darker <laughs> and down the rabbit hole from darker 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 shit right and 
I started to think back, like, yo, look, man, people ask me, like, yo, why'd you do this? Why'd you do this? And when I tell you my life got much more darker, I mean, homeless, like, real dark, low point of my life when I got homeless. You feel me? Um, you can't get, you can't go up until you hit rock bottom. And I thought, I think homeless was rock bottom for me. And, um. I'll tell you about the story from bouncing back from that. But the pressure that busts the pipes as when you start to think about what was going on in my head with all of them. Because I said something about all of them. And I'm going to start out with just, I'm going to start out with Ty Ty, right? Totally upset and disappointed with Ty Ty spazzing on him too. Ty Ty is right, Jay Jay so called right here, man. Oh f him, Ty 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 been biting bulls for a minute. I ain't gonna let none of this ish ride. Make sure to check out DeHaven's documentary titled Marcy Made on Tubi TV about his days of coming up with Jay Z and Marcy projects. Hey, Red Man is in the building. You got pain? You suffer from anxiety? Go get your CBD smokes. CBD gummies and CBD oils at nightanddaycbdhub.com.